Line following is huge in first Lego league, uh, in my opinion. Sometimes you just need to follow a line. And I think there are some things that you're gonna, some lines that you're gonna want to follow this year on replay. So uh, let's talk about it. So we're in our programming environment and we wanna follow a line and say we wanna follow this line that goes out to the east side of the first Lego League mat. So um, I'm gonna use my light sensor that's on the right side of the robot, F. And uh, the first thing that I wanna say is that these things aren't very, they're good, but they're not the greatest at showing color, but they're pretty good, really good actually, at showing reflected light. So these things reflect the light out and then it gets read back in the percentage that comes back in. So I'm gonna actually change these to reflected light. So I clicked on my hub control and I have my hub dashboard and I'm rechanging this reflected light. Now you can see there's percentages here with E and F. Now, uh, I'm going to talk to the robot like I'm talking to the robot. Like I'm gonna say, if you see black, if you see black, when we code, we're just talking to the robot. If you see black, I want you to turn away from the black. So if is in controls, if, and we're actually gonna use an if else, an if else. So if you see black, do one thing. If you don't see black else, do another thing. So if it sees black, and actually the robot's gonna bounce off of this line right here. So it's gonna follow this side of the line. Now you could have yours this side of the line. You just flip flop my blocks around, all right? And it's gonna bounce like this and follow the line. So if you see black turn, my robot's gonna turn this way. If you don't see black, so this wheel's gonna move faster. If you don't see black, this wheel is going to move faster to turn back to the black line. You're just going to keep doing that, keep doing that, keep doing that until something happens. That's a key word. We'll come back to it. Until. All right? Uh, so I want to, I'm going to use my more blocks, my more moving blocks. If you don't have those, click the extensions thing and add them. Click on that and add it. Okay? And I'm going to use start moving at power. Not speed, power. That's important. And I want to, if you see black, so uh, if we'll, we'll put that in in a second. If you see black, I want you to move away from the black line. So this wheel is going to move faster, my right wheel. If you don't, I want you to move towards the black line. So I'm going to right click and duplicate that and then just switch these two numbers. So if you want to follow the other side, if you want to bounce off of this side of the line, then these two blocks will just be flipped. That's it, all right? Uh, so if you see black, so let's tell it if you see black. If the reflected light intensity, that's what we're using, is less than a certain percentage, that means it's black. And right now it's on, it's on a black line, so F's on a black line. You can see it's kind of bouncing back between 31 and 30%. And I'm actually gonna do, just for safe measure, 40. So if F is reflecting less than 40% light, then I want you to do this code. Seems easy enough, right? Let's play it. It did it, but it didn't work how I thought in my head. Why? Because we didn't tell it to repeat until. It, we only told it to make this decision one time. We need to make it the decision over and over and over and over and over again. So I reset the robot. All right, and let's see. So we're gonna repeat until something happens. Repeat until something happens. And then after that thing happens, we want to stop. That's important too. We wanna stop. So I'm gonna put a stop moving. So repeat until something happens, and then we're gonna stop moving. Otherwise the robot will just kinda of go off the one side and we don't want that, we want it to just stop. So now, 
that something, uh, let's say it's a time. So you, say we say we want you to do this for three seconds or 10 seconds or 15 seconds or however many seconds, okay? So uh, before I follow the line, I'm gonna reset the timer because I want the timer to be zero every time I follow a line. So if I follow a line four times in one run of code, then I'm resetting the timer each time before I follow the line. And then I'm gonna say if the timer or when the timer, repeat this until the timer is greater than, until the timer is greater than three. So now we'll follow the line for three seconds and then stop. That's line following. Now you can change these speeds, mess with these numbers to go slower, or maybe you can figure out number, a set of numbers that makes it go faster. But that, that's, that's line following. That's, it's really kind of simple. All you're doing is telling the robot, if you see a black line go one way, if you don't see a black line, go the other way. So if you haven't seen my other coding hacks or tricks or turn by gyro or my basic moving, then uh, you know, look in the playlist, look in the description down below, those links, those links will be there. Uh, I hope these programming things are helpful. I'm gonna keep doing them, but there's some mission attachment stuff is coming up very, very soon. So uh, I will see you all in the next video.